So today I was gonna build some of the steps on my trailer. Um, just wasn't inspired. And I kept looking at it, kept looking at it, couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. But instead I was inspired to do something else. It's gonna be a new tire carrier. And I'll show you why I'm doing it. And uh, let's get to it. My spare underneath, which does fit a 35 on these trucks. Um, but I've had incidents where I've needed more than one tire. So I'm forced to throw it in the back of the truck have these racks that I built a while back for my rooftop tent, which now resides on the trailer. Now I can, I can put the rooftop tent back on anytime I want. And I'll show you how I carry a spare currently, an extra. So with the rooftop tent on top, gear, this thing came in handy. Now you might say, how do you open the tailgate? Cause it's in the way. But uh, the way it works is this bolts on here. I've got it loose right now. So now you'll see that this thing slides down. And the way that works is you can load up a 35, hook it up or unhook it there while it's on the ground. And the only thing you have to do is have enough strength to then grab the bar, pick up the tire. Bam, everything's locked back in place. Um, and tire is now elevated you don't have to pick it up and put it on there now that works really well it's worked for me for a couple of years but every time I have to let the tailgate down I have to lower that put the tire on the ground so as I was trying to figure out what to do today I thought hmm I'm not using my racks right now put the tire on top just makes sense. I'm thinking about putting two bars across with one in the middle. So anyway, that's what we're working on today. So here's the final product cut to size with some notches so they can fit on the existing rack. Here we have the cutouts of what I envisioned. It's going to be pretty flush just like these over here. But I think that would hold the tire bolted down right here. And you can see it's just about flush. There's a the progress so far. That's the idea that I had sits on top and uh, it kind of matches the rest. I just stuck them in a little bit more so nobody hit their head. Of course, the idea would be to put a bar across the middle and then attach it with a, a plate and some bolts to match the uh, bolt pattern. Sits just a tiny bit above the cab, but not much. That would be one good way to carry an extra spare and not have to carry it on the back tailgate. Kind of check it, see where we want it. I think that's gonna work. My biggest concern, I was gonna bolt them instead of weld them. Mainly so I could take this whole rack apart and not have to carry it as one piece i can literally unbolt it take this one piece unbolt it take this one piece and etc um so i'm trying not to weld it all together at the same time those are your weak links anytime you drill a hole uh you know you you're weakening the metal so it's one of those deals where it's a compromise uh my other worry is that when i bolt it here it'll be pretty strong but it'll start bowing out since I've only got this one little piece of plate holding the 100 pounds but it is just 100 pounds now of course in a wreck that could be multiplied by a lot more it should uh, hold um, since I like the, the setup I'm gonna go ahead and finish welding clean that up a little bit and uh, actually then we have to put a, a brace up here that has the, the plate that the tire goes on to Guys, this is what happens when you're not paying attention. 
see these cuts they go this way laying on there see where I put my tire holder it's on the wrong side all right guys after a little bit of cutting grinding and uh, a lot more work than welding I got the piece back at the correct side uh, this is essentially what it's going to look like. I just need to put a plate. I haven't decided on that. Drill the holes to match the uh, tire. And it's good for the tire. I am going to bolt these on. So like I said, I can take it apart. And just don't do what I did and mess up. I'm going to, for now, touch up and paint this thing. Because in Mississippi, it doesn't take long to uh, stuff to rust. Alright guys, well I guess we'll finish this project another time. We're going to go out to eat in a little while. Um, we also may go see crews and the coast is uh, going on this week. So we may go see some plastic cars um, I know there's an area they're supposed to be doing burnouts. Hopefully we'll make it in time uh, But you got the idea
blow them up, huh? Y'all on camera? You liking it? <laughs> Money uh, there than uh, we can afford. <laughs> hey, look at this Suzuki. Pants houses. Here, Patrick's like, get off of me. Let's get some pizza, girl. There he is. <laughs> 